in this video we'll cover all you need to know before traveling to Washington DC including where are all the major attractions, the best time to visit, where to stay and for how long, how to get around the city, how much things cost, best apps to use, best views of the city and other practical information. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications and share your own experience or ask a question in the comments below. We also created a mobile-friendly PDF document covering all the things in this video, plus the top 20 things to do in DC, including multiple maps. Here are 15 essential tips to know before you visit Washington DC. Number 15. The map of Washington DC. Washington is situated along the Potomac River between Virginia and Maryland. With over 20 million tourists every year, it is amongst the world's most visited cities. For orientation, let's start with the Washington Monument on the National Mall. North of this obelisk is the White House, the official residence of the US President. If you go north of the White House, you'll find Adams Morgan, a multicultural neighborhood famous for dining scene and vibrant nightlife. Further north is the Smithsonian National Zoological Park. East of the Washington Monument, you will find the United States Botanic Garden. This free admission living plant museum, established in 1820, is one of North America's oldest botanic gardens. On the east side of the National Mall is the United States Capitol, the seat of the federal government's legislative branch. Inspired by ancient Greek and Roman architecture, Capitol is both an office building and an art and history museum. The National Archives Museum, which is home to the Declaration of Independence, is about a 20-minute walk northeast of the Washington Monument. You can enter this museum and most other museums on the National Mall for free. Check out our travel guide for additional information. Northwest you will find Georgetown, Washington's oldest neighborhood. Two attractions you can visit here are the Waterfront Park and Georgetown University. Standing on the National Mall's west end is the Lincoln Memorial. In the southwest you'll find the Tidal Basin, which is surrounded by other impressive memorials such as the Korean War Veterans Memorial, Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial and Thomas Jefferson Memorial. Arlington National Cemetery is located further southwest, across from the Potomac River in Virginia. The largest military cemetery in America is the final resting place for over 400,000 military personnel, veterans and their families. South of the cemetery is the Pentagon, the US Department of Defense headquarters. Further south you will find Mount Vernon. Normally you will arrive in DC at one of the following international airports. Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport, Washington Dulles International Airport or Baltimore Washington Thurgood Marshall International Airport. Union Station is also a major hub for arrival from Boston, New York City and Philadelphia by train. To get a better sense of the distance, a 2.3 mile or 3.8 kilometer walk from the Lincoln Memorial to the US Capitol takes about 50 minutes. Number 14. Weather and Climate Washington has a humid subtropical climate. Rain falls more or less evenly throughout the year. Winters are typically chilly with temperatures ranging between 27 and 46 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 3 and 8 degrees Celsius. Snow is most likely to fall in January and February. Summers are hot and humid. Temperatures range between 66 and 87 degrees Fahrenheit or 19 and 31 degrees Celsius. In spring and fall, the weather is mild with relatively low humidity. Temperatures are between 44 and 66 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 and 19 degrees Celsius in the spring and between 47 and 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 and 21 degrees Celsius in the fall. Of course, these are all just averages. The weather and temperature can be different at the time of your visit, so remember to check the weather forecast before you travel. Number 13.
best time to visit. The best time to visit Washington is in spring from March to May and in the fall from September to November, when the weather is pleasant. The National Cherry Blossom Festival is a popular spring event, during which you'll see beautiful cherry trees blossoming all over downtown. However, the festival attracts the largest crowds, so be prepared and book your accommodations early. If you want to skip the crowds, you can choose to visit in the fall when the leaves changing colors against the background of marble monuments are a sight to behold. The cheapest time to visit Washington DC is from late August to early September. Probably the worst time to visit is July, when the summer heat and humidity are most intense. Also, school is out, so families and groups flock to the capital at this time. But don't worry, Washington has many impressive historical sites and world-class museums and tourist attractions, so you'll have a great time regardless of the season. And how can you figure out the best days and hours to see the attractions? Just check Google to see how crowded a specific location is at a certain time of day. Of course, we recommend going early during the week and or in the morning. Number 12. Land of Stay. We recommend staying in Washington for at least 5 days. This way, you'll be able to see most of its major attractions. Number 11. Where to stay and cost of the accommodation. If this is your first time in the city and you want to do a lot of sightseeing, you can choose accommodations in downtown DC or Foggy Bottom, where you'll be close to most monuments, museums and federal sites. If you're on a budget, Logan Circle is ideal for you. For a lively nightlife, choose the Pond Circle and for a hip experience, stay in H Street Corridor. For families, the best neighborhood is Georgetown. If you want to save money, you can choose to stay in nearby suburbs like Bethesda and North Arlington. However, be sure to check if there is a metro station nearby so you can easily reach downtown DC. A mid-range hotel double room in DC costs between $175 and $275 per night. Of course, the price can easily go higher or lower depending on the type of accommodation as well as the location and season. With planning and research, you can get good deals, especially if your dates are flexible and you don't travel in the peak season. Check out our travel guide for more information on where to stay. Number 10. Crowds and Lines Washington is one of the world's most visited cities. With the huge tourist crowds and long lines and attractions, exploring the capital can be a challenge. Even if you can't avoid the crowds, you can do some things to make your trip to DC a more pleasant experience. You can avoid peak seasons, avoid taking the subway during rush hours, get up early in the morning to explore the city without the crowds, and use Google Maps or a similar app to check how crowded a specific location is at a certain time of day. Number 9. Transportation. From and to the airport. To get from and to Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport, you can use Metro Rail or Amtrak, Shuttle Bus, Taxi, Private Car and Van Transfers, Uber or Lyft, and Car Rentals. For Washington Dulles International Airport, use Silver Line Express Bus and Metro Rail, Metro Bus, Shuttle Buses, Washington Flyer Taxi, Private Car and Van Transfers, Uber or Lyft and car rentals. For Baltimore, Washington, Turgut Marshall Airport. Use Amtrak or Maryland Area Regional Commuter, Metrobus, Shuttle Bus, Taxi, Private Car and Van Transfers, Uber or Lyft and car rentals. Check out our travel guide for links and additional information on how to get from and to all three Washington airports. Arriving by train. Located in Northwest Washington, Union Station is the main train station in DC. Many train lines operated by Amtrak, Mark and Virginia Railway Express, as well as intercity bus lines serve the station. Arriving by car. You can use Google Maps or a similar app to get driving directions to DC. You'll also want to know where to park in advance. An app like Spot Hero or Parkwiz will help you find and book parking locations in the city. 
Alternatively, you can book one of the many hotels in Washington that offer parking. Getting around the city. Washington has one of the world's cleanest, safest, and most efficient transportation systems. The most convenient ways to explore the capital are Metro Rail and Metro Bus, with Metro Bus providing connections to areas not serviced by Metro Rail. Meanwhile, bikes and electric scooters are the fastest way to travel around the city. A popular option for both residents and visitors is the DC Circulator which offers hop-on, hop-off access to the National Mall and several neighborhoods. Of course, you can also take taxis, which are abundant and cheap in DC. Finally, you can use Uber or Lyft or drive a car to get around. Check out our travel guide for timetables, prices, links and additional information. Number 8. General information. Here are some other things you should know for a nice and easy experience in Washington. Drinking water. It is perfectly safe to drink tap water in DC. As a part of Tap It Metro DC program, you can get free tap water not only from fountains or near attractions, but also from restaurants and establishments and even on the go toilets. There are dozens of bathrooms at National Mall Museums and Monuments and in other downtown locations. You can also use the toilets at restaurants and coffee shops you visit. See our travel guide for more information. We'll also cover apps for finding restrooms later. Free Wi-Fi DC residents and visitors can get free Wi-Fi at more than 600 locations all over the city, including on the National Mall, at numerous parks and at all public libraries. We'll cover apps for finding free Wi-Fi later. Number 7. For international travelers. Tipping. You should always tip at restaurants, bars and hotels in the United States and therefore in Washington, D.C. Servers in the US are usually paid minimum wage or less and rely heavily on tips. The normal rates are between 15 and 20% pre-tax for wait staff at restaurants and $1 to $2 per drink at hotels tip the porter at least $1 per bag. For the housekeeper, the rate is $2 to $5 per night. And you should leave the tip each day when leaving the room instead of at the end of your stay. For hotel room service, Go with 15 to 20 percent of the bill. You're not expected to tip the concierge, but it will be appreciated if you tip at least five dollars if they made reservations or booked tickets for you. You should tip taxi drivers as well, from 10 percent to 20 percent of the fare, depending on the quality of service. For Uber and Lyft drivers, 10 percent is a standard. Travel adapters. If you're coming from outside the US, you will probably need a special US travel adapter to charge your phone and other devices. This is what US power plugs look like. If you travel a lot, consider buying a universal travel adapter that you can use in other countries too. Prepaid SIM cards. You can purchase a prepaid SIM card to access the internet on your phone. Local carriers include T-Mobile, AT&T, Mint Mobile, Ultra Mobile and Straight Talk. See our travel guide for more information. Alternatively, you can consider renting a pocket Wi-Fi or a mobile hotspot. Check out our travel guide for links, prices and more information. Time Zone Washington uses Eastern Daylight Time or GMT-4. It is 14 hours behind Sydney and 6 hours behind Paris. So if it is 8 am in Washington, then it is 10 pm in Sydney and 2 pm in Paris. Number 6. Safety. Washington is a generally safe city. However, purse and mobile phone snatching can be an issue at tourist sites and on the metro. Typical for all major cities around the world, beware of pickpockets. Watch your valuables and use common sense. Also, mugging can be a problem in nightlife areas. It is best not to go to these places alone and to avoid poorly lit areas between bars, especially at night. Check out our PDF guide for the list of the areas to avoid in DC. For emergency services, dial 911. Number 5. Best apps to use in DC. Your cell phone can be your best buddy in Washington, DC. 
use Google Maps for Apple Maps for walking, driving and using public transportation. Google Maps also lets you download maps, which is a great option if you don't want roaming. Metro Hero for live metro rail line maps, train and station details and real-time commuter reports on train and station problems. City Mapper or Move It for information on public transportation, such as departure and arrival times, fastest routes, etc. DC Metro and Bus or Washington DC Metro route map for public transit info with maps and route planner. Wi-Fi Map or Wi-Fi Finder for finding Wi-Fi throughout Washington. Lime or any other provider to rent an electric scooter. Jump for electric bikes and scooters. Capital Bike Share to rent a bike, find station locations and get route suggestions. Uber or Lyft to get quick, reliable and 24-7 rides. TripAdvisor and Yelp for a restaurant, hotel, museum and tour reviews. Smithsonian Mobile for Smithsonian Museum locations, hours, floor plans, tours and collection highlights. Tap to locate the closest water fountain. Flush to find public restrooms or toilets even without internet connection. Check out our travel guide for links to download these apps on iOS and Android and for more great app suggestions. Number 4. Free City Tours. A great way to discover Washington. Walking tours are organized by professional guides who know a great deal about the city's rich history. Some providers even offer free and pay-what-you-wish tours. See our travel guide for links to websites of free guided tours and other interesting tours of DC. Number 3. Washington DC City Pass There are two city passes to choose from in Washington. The Sightseeing Pass and Go Washington DC. See our travel guide for current prices and links. Number 2. Food prices. We suggest using Yelp or TripAdvisor to find nearby places to eat and drink with good reviews. Try to avoid restaurants at or next to major tourist sites. You will often get a much higher price quality ratio at a local restaurant away from the main attractions. In Washington, the price of an inexpensive restaurant meal ranges from $7 to $12 for lunch and $10 to $18 for dinner. A burger can be as cheap as $4 at a fast food joint and as expensive as $23 as for drinks, a coffee costs between $1.50 to $5, a bottle of soda from $1.50 to $3, a pint of beer between $4 and $7 and a glass of wine at least $4 during happy hour. There are also some great cheap eats in DC. Check out our travel guide for a list of the best inexpensive dining places. Food trucks are a popular choice for hungry Washingtonians. Over 240 trucks offer a wide variety of affordable grub. Number 1. Best views of the city you can enjoy amazing views of Washington DC from one of the following places. Washington Monument, National Mall, Lincoln Memorial, the Kennedy Center Roof Terrace. Check out our travel guide for more places with amazing free and paid views of the city and maps to easily locate them. Our travel guide is a mobile-friendly PDF document that you can store on your phone for offline use. It covers the top 10 things to do in Washington DC, plus 10 additional attractions, maps, links, opening hours and other information that will help make your trip to DC stress-free. By purchasing our travel guide, you are also helping us sustain this channel, so big thank you! And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that we can keep bringing you more awesome content!